Technology, the wire that connects every field of work across all spheres all over the world. As companies try to collate numbers, figures and data, analytics help make meaningful patterns. This is what converts data to decisions, numbers to information and brings in simplicity in our way of work. Mere data and numbers alone cannot help a company grow. As the tools to bring in information grows, data moves to big data and all these amazing numbers are useless unless you can slice and dice these to your advantage. The power to predict, prepare and plan is provided only by smart automated analytics and if done in the right way, it can study your past and predict your future. So brace yourself as together we walk up the ladder. Discover the might of a simple tool that can make your business reach levels you could never have imagined. At one time there was data, now there's big data. Give it a year, there'll be super ultra big data, which is all the information pouring in for your business, customers, your own enterprise, your own employees, everybody feeding you something every single second of the day. What do you do with all that? Well, the big hot category is analytics. Put it all together, it'll make great sense and take your business forward. Is that really true? Well, two people here are here to prove that it is, of course, with me also, is my jury. The superstars are back, Kiran Karnik, so Mittal once again. Fantastic having you here. I think over the last two weeks, we've discovered a lot about you as much as the entrepreneurs. Any new insight into yourself? Oh, how about one? You two know each other very well, NASCOM. One big insight into Mr. Mittal. Well, let me tell you, non-technologically, yeah, yeah, the greatest only. thing to me about Soam is that he knows all the right places to eat in any city, anywhere in the world. So great to be with him at dinner time. Okay, and one about Mr. Karni. Well, you know, uh, Kiran is so multifaceted. Uh, uh, and, you know, he was so visible that we know most of him, and he's right. very transparent. But I think such a wonderful, prolific writer, right? And the True. way he articulates things, I think, always impresses. And we actually go back even now saying, Kiran, help us write this out. <laughs> all right, great. That then is our super jury, and also joining us today, Another mentor from IBM, a person who is a master craftsman in analytics, right? Yes. Something that you really, really like. Uh, joining us is Siva Ramakrishnan Narayanan. Yes. So analytics, I've already said that, you know, big data, chomp it down, it's all <laughs> about analytics. We're very curious to know how it really does qualify when the two people we meet are here. So should we get started with that? Yes, And let's sure. meet them. Yeah. So do remember, every single week we give them a task, and that is to come up with a banner, a pop-up banner. We give them just a very short amount of time, and they're supposed to do something outstandingly different. Let's see how this task went this week. Want to represent pharmaceutical companies' identities, which mm -hmm. users should be able to relate visually. Okay. I want to highlight the process improvements resulting into the final quality improvement. Depict it in a graphical format. Kind of a beaker with a gas burning down mm -hmm. and different data that are being poured into the beaker, which you heat up with a analytics and analysis, giving you out a better product result. So this is you. These are the elements. This is what you giving away to the customer. Yeah. So you've seen how that went. Time now to meet entrepreneur number one. And this is Nachiket Deshpande and with Alcon Industries. This is a pharmaceutical company. What could analytics do for him? Let's find out. Come. Let me see. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to start off with the pop-up banner. So, tell us why you represented your company like that. Uh, first, I feel that the current business we are in, the inputs that are going in, which are most important for the outcome, that is a quality product. Being in a pharma industry, healthcare industry, quality is of utmost importance and that's to us. what your pop-up banner puts through, that you're in this to innovate and also the quality is absolutely top of the line. Okay, that's the pop-up banner part of it. Now comes the real heart of it all. Mm -hmm. You have two minutes to tell us what is your business, what's different about your business, what has technology done for you right now, but far more importantly, what can analytics and other technologies do for you <coughs> into the future? Your time, two minutes, starts now. Alcon Industries in the manufacturing of pharmaceutical products. We are being there in the business for a long time. Uh, our foray is into the liquid orals manufacturing, which is uh, antacids, 
liquids in all forms which goes as medicines for humans uh, at present we are looking at uh, different options of solar uh, technology that goes into as in a bit of a cloud computing we have put up a portal which is on a cloud at the same time we are optimizing our productivity using different tools that are available off the shelf certainly we are looking ahead to get into the global market we are gearing our infrastructure people resources training them in all aspects at the same time from production we are focusing into the marketing arena also i mean do you get a lot of data in like you're saying multiple countries and also you have multiple product lines and nothing gets you more data than maybe pharmaceuticals are you getting a lot of data in and how do you plan to do anything with it certainly uh, we are very quality oriented uh, business line where uh, quality is paramount for everything what we do at the product level at the productivity level at the shop floor level uh, what happens is when we go for a product innovation as well as a continual manufacturing process there is a tons of data that we are already right. collecting at present uh, we are doing them at our end with using our own tools but i am sure that there are many better ways out there which we can explore that is unfortunately 2 minutes but i'm sure lots of things will come up in the question and answer session we're going to start with you mr karnik you know lots of things should be done on the product product quality and some of it will be analytics a lot of it will be other stuff that you need to do but tell me on the market a little bit you know what what is the kind of market data and what quantities of data are you getting in where analytics is going to be a key driver to be able to understand the market better and to meet those needs uh, sir currently we are at a second level of data generating we are not getting a primary data in a statistical term uh, we are sir giving the products to our man, uh, partners and they are selling it across to the markets so when we plan to get into the market directly our own marketing definitely we so you don't have a brand of your own no. right now you are actually doing this for others is that correct. how it is that's correct so you're a contract manufacturer contract. for pharmaceuticals for pharma. right that's true. okay so, right. so uh what we plan to look out is first to help our business partners our stakeholders in this process of uh, getting a market analysis getting the correct information from out there the patterns that are getting developed for the sales at the same time uh, the dynamics that are changing how the other brands the when uh, the other companies that are for performing in the market obviously the primary data through the sales force or through the channel partners will come through will come okay. and then you use it to launch your own brand is that the idea of going forward <laughs> not there no? not their data obviously <laughs> no, we will <laughs> definitely <laughs> uh, we putting yeah. our efforts to do that that would okay. be also a good one yeah. analytics to yes. do both okay. i mean make their business better, better and launch and a brand launch of your own, own. Yes. i mean certain so i would presume that the formulations are given by people who own the brand right and uh, uh, uh so it's both the ways uh, we are developing very actively uh, in fact we have uh, recently developed uh, five new pro formulations out of which four are ready to go into the market we are in a working in a very tight regulatory framework so uh, obviously uh, the innovation part is uh, obviously restricted but for that matter definitely that is another area where the product development needs lot of data that is a stability data uh, the kind of efficacy the kind of effects that it has already proven products in the market how they are performing how are the market preferences for them so these datas are there or need to be generated some of them are already there which are there in the uh, quality uh, or lab per se to launch a uh, variations of them definitely we need to have a further more depth of analysis of that yeah but you know a good way for you to be actually using analytics would be starting from the disease end right so today there is tons of data that's available emerging all the time about you know what how are people falling sick what's happening in which part of the country which actually helps you narrow down what formulation you should get because there are already large number of formulations as the medicine delivery system will undergo a dramatic shift in near future the way the prescriptions are being sent in a manual way soon they will be in a digital format so again huge data will be available in that form also which can be definitely mm -hmm. explored to obviously streamline the processes increase the productivity at the same time deliver very great value to the end customer at a 
again, affordable price. Quick analysis of what is it that you've suggested to him <coughs> as short as possible. In terms of uh, product and quality, I think there are a bunch of things that can be done in terms of just capturing the information as the product is moving through the line, understanding what the impact of various process parameters have on the manufacturing itself. Uh, and how that can be modified or looked at from the point of view of proactively dealing with quality. You know, not actually wasting capacity and uh, energy right. and time okay. on processing bad batches, uh, trying to proactively identify what could go wrong if these parameters have shown mm -hmm. up in this fashion. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's a pattern recognition, more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been as old as manufacturing, if not uh, older, but uh, with more data and more accessibility of that information, it becomes a little bit easier to more manage that, right? Correct. So that's something that we discussed. And of course, the market analysis, what he's talking about is essentially capturing the dem demand from the market uh, to identify, make sense of what that demand is, uh, the behavior of that demand, and then respond accordingly to that. Okay, so interesting. I think almost everything that you've got back plus your own ideas merged together, I think make a pretty powerful impact. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Like I said, that was just the start we do have one more person who will come and present. Let's find out what is he going to do with the big data and, of course, the slice and dice of analytics right after the break. Right now, uh, we, we are not exactly doing the analytics part. We want to do it because okay. from the floor, we are not getting that data, data. from the customer. Welcome back. We are about to meet our entrepreneur number two, and this one is going to have you all frozen. I still haven't understood exactly what he does, but believe me, the company's name and the pronunciation, I am 100% sure I'm going to get it wrong. Let me see if I can try and do this. Sinteli Cryos may be the way it's actually uh, said. I'm not too sure. We will find out when we meet Ronak Chandak. Hi, Ronak. So tell me, how do you pronounce the name? Sintel Cryos. So have you ever thought that if you can't pronounce it, then you may not be able to get customers mm -hmm. for it? No, it's, it's catchy. Have you got that data and have you analyzed it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it catchy. catches up? It's, yeah, yeah it's, you know, you do say that if it's really tough, you get it once, you may no, never forget it again. Yeah. Now we're going to take a look at the pop-up banner you came up with. First, I need a tool, a cutting okay. tool. Cutting tool. Can you make a cartoon of the same? Maybe uh, just a person with the end V shape. Yeah. Okay. And there's a, a lean person here and a body wala person after the process. I need a cool icy look around the whole pop up. Can you mount a cartoon body on that tool? Mm -hmm. On the background, you can provide a minus 196 degree centigrade. At the bottom, uh, we can write treat your tools cryogenically to enhance life. And these two tools that we are making, mm -hmm. uh, we have to show before central cryos process and after central cryos process. What you do, I mean, it's a good catchy tagline that you get, but what exactly does this do <laughs> for people that are not familiar with the business but may still need your services didn't come through? Were you satisfied with what you did? Uh, not exactly, because it's, it's always been a difficult prospect to make people understand that what exactly my company does. So we, we always need to talk into details, you know, to so make them understand. One pop-up banner may not be enough to do uh, that, Yes, right? sir. That's why I flashed, I just flashed a website so that, you know, one can understand the detailed uh, process. Get them clicking. Yes. Right? You have two minutes. Take us through what your business does. We'd really love to understand what exactly you do. Sure. But far more important technology you use now into the future. Time starts now. Uh, sir, uh, right from my college days, I always imagined doing something out of the box, something new. Uh, then finally hitting on a process which is eco-friendly, uh, I could not have asked for anything better. Uh, cryogenic treatment, uh, it's basically sub-zero cooling of uh, cutting tools and dyes, etc., which are steel-based mostly. We cool it to minus temperatures to enhance 
to have molecular changes which which enhances a lot of properties like uh, abrasion wear resistance uh, impact strength tensile strength of the tool and as far as the commercial angle is concerned it, it cuts down on the cost of toolings it cuts down on the idle time that the tools that have been uh, installed so the process basically is cooling we cool the tools to a minus temperature then we bring it back to room temperature we follow cooling curves uh, specialized cooling curves for doing the process and in so doing the due to the changes in the molecular structure such proprietarial changes uh, are imparted which enhance the life of the tool okay. to be to for a layman it is the life of the tool okay. maybe a razor blade was cutting 100 cuts it would now cut 20, uh, 200 cuts after okay. doing my process okay so that's what you do yes technology now and especially analytics how does that help you uh, sir uh, the first phase of my business was to bring this uh, process from the laboratory to the industry level uh, also seeing keeping in mind the techno economical viability the price and the costing that part is over now so in now we are looking at analytics in a way there are two areas where basically analytics would help me one is getting the data from the customer the date the customer who is using the cutting tools <coughs> who is using the different dies we need to get a lot of data from them that after our process how much life increase they have got when did they install our tool what what we have supplied to them when did they put it off the machine so that we can analyze that data there's another part is the the part of my plant where i need a lot of input data like the tool size the tool geometry the tool material composition a lot of these are input data that you know in a process if i get a machine learning thing working in it i can develop i can develop the input and the output which comes from the customer so you run out of time on that yeah. one uh, but uh, i think it's very interesting what you do but i'm going to get, come to the jury now for first questions what is the extent to which your customers are getting the kind of comfort with the data that you give analyze because it's your data you are analyzing and giving it back to them so are you finding this in terms of business as something where analytics is actually helping you to expand your business to make new sales to convince customers right now uh, we, we are not exactly doing the analytics part we want to do it because okay. from the floor we are not getting that data, data from the customer they are not ready to spend that much amount of time on that data okay. to give it back to us mm -hmm. and so so we are planning to make some portals maybe where they could ent put entry those datas you work for somebody who makes the tools you are actually doing the treatment for them yes. and then their tool is being used by an end customer yes sir. right so uh, i think it's important to find the connect right uh, because you are producing things which the automotive <coughs> industry would use and yes. manufacturing industry would use so i think to that data collection becomes very important and and this uh, being very empirical in nature mm -hmm. to be able to connect up a batch process with a particular mm -hmm. tool right needs uh, connectivity so i presume every tool has a part number or a serial number on yes, it to yes. be able to, to yes. tie that up quick analysis again what is it that you when you spend some time with him what were your suggestions so first of all it's a process that's uh, temperature driven so in that sense it's a little bit uncontrolled you know it, it's automated there is a lot of machinery that work on it and you know there is not much human intervention that's possible so the point on machine learning came up from that side which essentially says if this is how the process is going to work and there are 15 steps that the process needs to go through i need to have machines that are capable of sensing and responding as the process is actually getting executed so that part of it is actually data that is coming on stream and i'm trying to analyze and behave uh, or change the machine behavior accordingly so that's a that's an important aspect thank you very much for coming in now uh, we will just call you back after the jury is deliberated a little thank you so much Nachiket and Ronak have both presented the jury has deliberated they do have a winner who will join us in the finale let's call both of them back and find out who it is both of you <laughs> so great again well presented interesting businesses uh, interesting thought processes of where you'll take it in the future but of course uh, while well, the jury will tell you a little bit more about what their decisions were and why each of them is going to address you <coughs> any thoughts on an altogether different business plan that you know as you go ahead one of the things is to convince the customer that this helps better so what about a you know equal to a paper use thing because your tool is going to last him longer and do better for him mm -hmm. so if you look at the possibility of using analytics analytics data to try and collect stuff where he then pays you on a business model which is paper use will that be something you would use analytics to change your business model given that you're not close to the final customer but you only supplying to somebody who's then in the manufacturing industry uh, right now we we are doing the process for the end user who is using the tools we are not tied up with any manufacturer 
uh, of tooling uh, components. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think uh, pharma <laughs> is uh, one area where I think you could use analytics very well. I think you've already started thinking on this. I would really say there are two areas that you should explore. <laughs> one, uh, the people that you work for, right, uh, mm -hmm. and you manufacture, they are probably going to be exporting these goods and, you know, today quality in India and where is it being done, regulatory wise, you will have to have the data Certainly. and it's best that you start collecting the data, mm -hmm. analyzing it so that you are predicting uh, any possible problems ahead, right? Okay. I think that will be a great use. And the second is your own vision that you want to come out with your own formulation. And I think for that, yeah. focus on getting the disease data. A lot of it is already available, start analyzing, so that when you are ready to launch your own products, you know that you are trying to solve a problem rather than be a me too provider of a, of a product. Certainly, sir. Okay, great. So again, like I said, great insights, and now they do have one person who moves on and will meet us in the finale. So, Ronak, your, both your business model and your business is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think both of you scored equally in terms of both your presentations, the pop-up banner, all of it was equal. The only reason why Nachiket moves on to the finale is because the category of business he comes from, analytics, may play a bigger role. Otherwise, I think it was almost impossible for us to choose one over the other. But as of now, I think we're thinking Nachiket moves on. Thank you very much, both of you coming in here. Fantastic presentation. And the two jury members have a small memento for you. So once again, third show and once again proven that whether you're freezing tools or eventually human bodies in the future like we've suggested, or pharma where you can actually analyze where disease comes from, what you could do with it, and how you could actually just help, not just business, actually truly change the world by helping those that are unwell. All of that technology will be the forefront player in all of that. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, one more show to go, two more entrepreneurs to actually will be here who will be showcasing their technology and their business and then the grand finale. See you next week.